I'm Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shah, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shah, Bashan, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Millions of Households Are Behind on Rent by Source CBS News. And this article is entitled Millions of Households Are Behind on Rent as Federal Aid Trickles Out. This article was updated on August 25th, 2021. Millions of Americans behind on rent are still not getting the assistance they need fast enough. The Treasury Department said Wednesday another $1.68 billion in federal rental assistance went out in July. Only a small fraction of the funds made available by Congress. Just $5.1 billion of the first $25 billion round of rental assistance passed in December has gone to those in need amid fear of evictions and the federal moratorium, which means delay, remains in legal peril. An additional $21 billion was passed in March, meaning roughly 89% of all rental assistance money has not gone out. More than 7.9 million households are behind on rent, according to the latest Census Bureau data from early August. Of those, more than 3.5 billion said they were very or somewhat likely to be evicted in the next two months. While the distribution of funds remains slow, there has been a steady uptick. In June, the amount of money approved for those in need is just over $1.5 billion doubled the funding that had gone out since the program began. Last month, that number increased 15% from the month before. Since the beginning of the year, more than 1 million payments have been made to households at risk of eviction. More than 340,000 households received payments in July alone, but whether people are getting the money varies largely depending on the states and counties they live in. Starting at the end of September, state and local programs that have been slow or unwilling to get money out are at risk of losing their funds. Three, the Treasury Department can reallocate any unused money to programs who have used at least 65% of their rental assistance by then. So in a nutshell, a lot of these states have the money they're just not distributing the money to the people in need. And this is by design. Let's jump down. A federal eviction moratorium covering roughly 90% of the country remains in place until October 3rd. The previous eviction moratorium by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention was allowed to expire at the end of July amid back and forth between the Biden administration and congressional Democrats over who had the authority to extend it. If the Supreme Court strikes down the current one, which it could in a ruling expected shortly, Congress would have to act a tough climb even in the Democratic-controlled House and the Senate. No Republicans support passing a new eviction moratorium for a short, for a short of the 10 necessary to enact legislation. Housing advocates won't states and counties to pass their own eviction moratoriums to protect tenants as well as protections for tenants still waiting for rental assistance they already applied for. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3 in a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble keepers referring to your economists 
okay, and um, your people that watch the stock markets. And the strong men shall bow themselves, all right, strong men, meaning wealthy men, or Salakia, rich men, Salakia, rich men. And the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. An example of those looking out the windows be darkened. More than 7.9 million households are behind on rent, according to the latest Census Bureau data from early August. Of those, more than 3.5 billion said they were very or somewhat likely to be evicted in the next two months. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, no jobs, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Alright, so this article supports prophecy. Okay. And according to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, America, all right, will be destroyed. At this time frame, you see how the Most High is devastating the economy of America, all right? And America's economy is the driving force of America. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Verse 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. This is all prophecy. Lord, will your edify. Shalom.